What's going on, everybody? I haven't talked to you in a while like this. So I'm gonna do a little get ready with me. Um, I'm just gonna curl my hair. So you're just down for a nap right now. And I just kind of want to talk to you, just give you a little bit of a life update, tell you kind of what's going on, what my goals are, um, kind of how we've been doing some things as a now stay at home mom. I did not brush my hair, I didn't bring a brush either and I've got the vacuum going. It just helps out to have it run while she's taking a nap, but it's probably annoying you. So, I'm just gonna pause that bad boy real quick. Um, I'm gonna curl my hair. I haven't curled my hair in a while. I just kind of feel like getting a little bit dolled up today. Got my magnetic lashes on, if you can see that. But um, I have I have a confession that I want to talk to you about, and it's something that's kind of been weighing on my mind. Um, kind of like how <laughs> I kind of identify myself and what you know I talk about, what I do, and I'm just we're just gonna get right to the nitty gritty of it. Um, you can listen to the rest of the video if you want but I haven't tracked my macros. I, you guys know me as the macro queen, as someone who, you know, has tracked macros for 17, 18, 19, 20, for four years. And now I don't track it. And I, there's a, the reason behind that is the fact that I just I'm in a spot right now where I'm comfortable and that's the goal you guys like that is the goal and I realized post baby um I tracked my macros so rewind I track my macros all through my pregnancy because numbers are so important to me I wanted to make sure Number one, I was getting enough protein during my pregnancy. Two, that I was eating enough calories to help grow baby Sage. And that I wasn't, you know, gaining too much weight because eating for two is a huge myth. So I can um, pluck a few pictures of me working out in the gym, macro tracking, all the whole nine yards. And that literally saved my pregnancy, my postpartum. It helped me with my childbirth experience and just overall health during my pregnancy. So what I'm about to say is like, don't think that I ever think that mac tracking macros is wrong because I think that it is the king of kings when we want to track that. Like we want to, you know, understand how much we're eating, what we're eating, how we're feeling our body, all of that stuff. So <laughs> I tracked my macros up, up to having Sage. And I think I tracked maybe a week afterwards. And since then, I had to change my nutrition because she, during breastfeeding, she just sped up so much. So I got rid of diet. She then got a yeast infection, so then I eliminated yeast from my breast milk as well too, so she would no longer have that reaction. So I was just on a very limited diet when I was breastfeeding, and it was the best decision because I was still able to provide for my baby, and that was that. And I also, postpartum, had so many emotions, and I didn't want to add in tracking because I had tracked for so long, I also wanted to give myself, give my body, give my mind a little bit of peace, give me a little bit of grace during my postpartum time. So I did not, I just decided not to track. And I ate what I want, I listened to my body, and, and when you're breastfeeding especially, you're hungry. Like I didn't have any cravings really all during my pregnancy, but when you talk about 
postpartum, the cravings that you have are so weird um, when you're breastfeeding and I just, I was, I was hungry, you know, you're, you need an extra 500 calories above your maintenance for breastfeeding. And that doesn't count like when you start working out, all of that plays into how many calories you need. So I needed to consume a lot of calories and your girl did. Um, I ate what I wanted. I listened to my body. I made sure I got a gallon of water in because water is so important, especially, you know, postpartum healing. Any time of life, water is important. So drink your water. Um, so I just didn't. And it's now been a year that I haven't tracked my macros. I am down... 15 pounds from my pre-pregnancy weight with Sage. And that's it's not to gloat, it's not to, you know, rub it in anyone's face. Everyone's body is different, everyone's metabolism is different, every everyone is um, you know, every not everyone loses weight with breastfeeding. Some people just maintain the same, or some people, you know, still really struggle with that. So Again, I'm just talking on, on me and my experience and what I've gone through and to to track my macros for four years and to not track anymore, it's a sigh of relief. Now, there are days where I'm like, man, I should really get myself in check because I, I know I'm not eating enough protein. I know what it's like and how much you need to eat to get the amount of protein that I need to sustain my muscle. Now postpartum breastfeeding for 10 months I lost a lot of muscle I lost a lot of my my booty's gone my tatas are gone my arms are thinner the way that I like them I've got good shoulders you know from picking up a baby and carrying her around but I've I've lost a lot of shape I no longer have that curve I'm just kind of like a two by four now um with a little bit of a, a shape and 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 that's okay like I'm at a point where I also wanted to look in a mirror and I focus with Sage on daily affirmation. So we look in the mirror and we get ready. We're like, I am strong. I am kind. I like to share. I am beautiful. I am um, smart. I, to give her those affirmations every day. And I wanted to look at my body and look at myself as the same way I, I didn't want her to worry about that um I didn't want her to worry about you know monkey see monkey do so if, if you're talking bad about the way that you look if, if you're hard on yourself if you um you know kind of doing the whole body positive thing um but it, if you switch your mindset to what your body is capable of what your body does for you it's a whole new perspective you know especially being a woman and you know losing weight or birthing a human it's incredible and to be so hard on yourself so when i think of you know looking at myself in the mirror saying you know oh i wish i could fix this or fix that yeah you can but also your body's done a lot of things and it is an amazing, you only get one guys, like you only get one. So treat it with respect. Don't be a turd to it and make it, make it run as good as you can. Like that's the whole point. Like this is your engine. Put some oil in it, put some gas in it, like shine the tires or yeah, like shine your rims and keep driving. Like don't, don't give up on your, on your car. Don't give, I mean, you can't really go. I mean, sometimes these days you can go buy new body parts, but for the most part, <laughs> for the most of us, we only have one. So just um, give yourself some grace. Always know that there are ways 
to improve and it's okay if you want to make improvements you want to feel better you want to run better you want to you know perform better all, all these things um but anywho you know to have the ability to no longer track macros as a macro coach it, it's weird so i mean i feel like I'm not practicing what I preach, but I am in a way because I still eat my vegetables. I eat my salads. I make sure that I get my water in every day. I make sure I have protein with a protein source with my meal. I make sure that I'm, you know, again, getting my vegetables in with um, my meals, getting some fruits in. And I feel so much better. I don't feel inflamed. I don't feel as I don't feel bad anymore like I'm not sluggish I'm not tired I make sure that I am feeling my body with so many good things and then having a treat last night we went and had Dairy Queen but I'm not getting Dairy Queen every night or not Dairy Queen Sonic but I'm making sure that I'm getting Sonic once a week um and making that you know fit in or maybe every other week once a month whatever you whatever works for you and, and where you're at and what your goals are and I don't know I just felt like I had to get that off my chest I don't know why um because you know I'm known as oh the macro queen the macro girl macros are life macros are macros are also a period of your life like there's, I might, I might go back, um, to tracking macros because I know it works guys. I know it works because it does, but I'm at a point in my life that I don't need you right now. And we might have an, a, another kid and I'll probably track my macros during that pregnancy just because I like numbers. Um, and I like to make sure that I'm keeping my body in a healthy weight for a healthy mama and healthy baby. And so I'll probably track again and, and I'll take you on that journey with me. And I guess I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm doing now and, and why I haven't shared a lot of, um, you know, meals that I'm having and what the macros are and what the calories are, because that's, that's not where I'm at right now. I'm just at the point where I want to make sure that I'm getting my vegetables. I'm getting, you know, some fruits and eating bananas and apples. And I tell you what, eating an apple a day seriously does, it does amazing things. Um, I just feel so much better, which is, you know, apple that you hear growing up, like apple a day keeps the doctor away, but they're not lying. Like you just feel good. Like it helps you out. Apples have so many benefits, and I also want to, you know, teach Sage how to eat vegetables, how to, you know, enjoy foods, enjoy foods that are good for you, and not be so stuck on, you know, sugar and the highly processed foods, because we all know that you feel like poo when you eat like poo, and that's just, you know, my kind of two cents for today and kind of what's been going on. And I do want to keep this under 30 minutes for sure. Um, we're, we're at 14 minutes right now. So I love you for sticking with me during this about halfway down on my hair. So if you guys need to know how long it takes me to curl my hair, this is about how long it's going to take. And <laughs> we're going to keep, keep it moving. And you know, a couple of things. I do have three businesses that I'm running right now. I do have my online nutrition coaching business. So I do have some ladies that are lifestyle. So they're not doing, um, like they're just, they're not doing macros. They're just, um, kind of working on that until they are ready to take the next step. Um, and then track macros. Um, I have people that just do workouts only. Um, so I do have a monthly subscription to my app so that people can just do their workouts. It's all customized on a monthly basis. So they get new workouts every month, whether you're at home or in the gym. I did recently just sign up for the YMCA so that Sage can 
um, go to daycare and I'm not gonna lie it's it's terrible I have really bad anxiety when I'm not with her like I want to throw up um, I get really um, upset so it's like it, I only leave her like for 45 minutes and it's it's really tough I don't know if any other mamas struggle with that um, I love being with her all the time and then there I mean and then we have feelings that sometimes you just you want to be away away from her and you just have so much sense of like overwhelm and and you know there's also overstimulation for your brain as an adult and so when you're you know with a tiny human and just loving her all the time um you know sometimes you have that feeling of just overwhelm and that you just need your own space but then when I do it, I just, I feel so sick. And I don't know if anyone struggles with that or how you handle that. Um, I thought it would be a little bit different now that I'm not breastfeeding and having those hormones, but still, even a year later, I still struggle really bad um, with that. <laughs> but having a one-year-old that wants to get out of the grocery cart is also difficult sometimes um and I know she's with people she's with safe people but um yeah I just wanted to share that with you you know my life isn't always sunshine and rainbows you see just the highlights of my life which is why I kind of just wanted to sit and talk and plus as a stay-at-home mom now since uh June I don't see a whole lot of people and this is my way of connecting with you connecting with you know those around me and I work out at home for the most part. I did invest in a gym. It's called PRX to get a bar and um, some equipment so that I can have a little bit more, some bands. And, you know, I've been getting it done in 30 minutes. And that's my time. I either do it when she's working out or when she's sleeping or she's with me. You know, she plays with my resistance bands. She plays... You know with her toys I have her little slide out in the garage and she'll play with that while I work out and I just give myself 30 minutes of, of movement exercise I typically burn about 100 calories nothing crazy and we get the job done but you know it, it's tough running a bit running a business uh, running three businesses and you know raising a little one so if anyone's out there doing that props to you if you're just raising a little one props to you like, mm, it's, it's tough. And if you're just out there working, props to you. Like, everyone has their own, their own heart, their own type of heart. And some people can handle more things than others. And I love being able to be with her, to, to teach her, to show her new things, to let her explore, to make her laugh. And it's just so much fun that... I'm very thankful that I've gotten the opportunity to do this. You know, it took me probably two months after Anthony telling me that I could stay home to actually leave my nine to five job because I had always been a worker. I had always been someone who just crushed it at, at the job with someone just like being right on top of you, supervising you, just being there as a team and now that it's just me, that's just kind of what's been more of a struggle, I think. So, so just getting to recreate that here has been challenging and rewarding because I do have my team. I have all of my ladies that I work with and that I get to talk to on a daily basis. And um, it's just different instead of being like when I'm one on one. So I've joined a like a mom's club of the area that we're in to have like events and people to go to and play dates. But honestly, I, I haven't made it and it's 100% my fault. Um, something just doesn't ever line up or for the schedule or I end up doing something else or I have other plans or business stuff gets in the way or nap time, all that fun stuff. So, but there are opportunities of, of getting to know other mamas and I've met a couple of great mamas already here in the area. Um, some work, some stay at home and it is 
just nice to have some extra support, which is also why I'm on social media so much because I get to connect with you. I get to share what's going on, what our life is like now. Um, Anthony did get a new job, so he's been doing that. He's been working a little bit more, and it, which is fine. I mean, he, he loves his new job, so I'm so, so happy. I'm so proud of him, and I'm so thankful for all that he's doing for us and the family. And, you know, with the military, he did take a semester off of school, um, so he might start school back up as well, too. He just, he just does so much, and I'm so proud. And we've joined a couples bowling league. So we've been bowling every Sunday night. It's been a new staple for us. And I'm not gonna lie, I was very, very hesitant at first to, to do it. Number one, I suck at bowling. And I'm the person that is just out to have fun. And my husband is competitive. And so it's, sometimes there's some tension between us because he, um, you know, is the competitive one. And I just, you know, wanna just have a good time. So, but I'm getting a lot better, which is really fun. And he cheers me on and I cheer him on and we bring Sage and it's just a big old family affair at the bowling alley. Um, so, you know, we chase her down, we let her run around while she's, while each of us are bowling or we're taking turns and we just make it work. And, and I love that we have that staple, you know, in every Sunday night that we go to now. And it's 30 weeks. 30 weeks is a long time for a bowling alley or for a bowling league, but that's a big commitment. But so that is going on. Um, I do have an online business that I sell products with as well too. I do sell products on Amazon. Um, I am a reseller for that as well too. So I ship products out on eBay, Mercari, Amazon. Um, you can see packages behind me right now that are going out. So I get those packaged in the morning so we can take them to the post office or UPS as needed as well, too. Um, and I also have another um, online business that's just solely online as well. Um, I do have someone working with me with that to help me in that area as well. And... Then we're also thinking about doing Turo. So if you guys have any experience with Turo, uh, let me know. I'd love to chat with you about it, kind of see what's going on. Um, we're not quite ready for Airbnb, but we're kind of interested in Turo to kind of dabble in that in the market. So if you, again, yeah, if you want to chat with me about that, let's do it. And then, um, just kind of been working on some house stuff here. Um, we've officially been in our house for uh, almost a year now, which is really exciting. Um, so coming up on all that stuff, holidays are coming up. We're just, you know, just staying busy. We got a new hot tub, which is fun. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I just wanted to hop on here, just talk to you guys, kind of confess what's going on what I've been doing and what, you know, just connect with you guys more. I uh, also have any activities or indoor ideas for the winter time here in Indiana. It gets cold super quick, so we're not gonna be able to play outside as much. And I am a big pansy when it comes to being outside or being cold. So I don't want to, um, obviously take Sage out there. So if you have any ideas of things to entertain her besides the television, because I already do screen time with her because that's how I get some of my work done, to be honest. Um, and so um, just let me know some of those ideas. If you want to meet up, if you're in the Indiana area um, and you're in the Indy area, let me know. We can hang out. Um, get together. I'm a big coffee drinker. Um, my house is baby proofed, so we can come over, come hang out. We can hit a workout together. Um, we can go, you know, do all kinds of things. So, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. I hope this was just fun for me to just talk to you, let you kind of get into my life a little bit more. Um, you know, my whole point of sharing everything that I do is to 
maybe help motivate you, help inspire you, just connect with you because a lot of us are a little bit more isolated these days and this just allows us to kind of get to know each other and just kind of feel more together, feel like you're not alone, feel like you're not struggling. Um, you know, we co-sleep. My baby just started sleeping longer than five hour stretches and it's been amazing. I forgot what it was like to have a dream and they've been crazy. <laughs> uh in the middle of the night um we're working on getting her transition from like bottles to sippy cups which is a nightmare um, <sighs> um and then bedtime is always tough so you're not alone we all go through it no no one's perfect no one's it's just a big mess of life and i got 30 minutes on my flexi spot bike and did a little bit of tricep work out and some abs today for 30 minutes. Again, 30 minutes. I'm probably going to pick up around the house now um, to try to get that, get these packages loaded in the car. So when she wakes up from her nap, we can go do that. And yeah, so I hope we chat soon. And thanks for watching. I'm gonna finish my water and then go have me some of my redneck juice because I love a good diet do. Mm. Anyone else also not like uh, room temperature or not like cold, cold water? Like I like my water at room tip. Daily reminder, drink your water and we'll chat soon.